right, Nick. So the Lower East Side is extremely historical, but it's also known for some great food. Here at Mission Cantina, they do a sick fried fish burrito, and we're here to teach you how to make it your ultimate tailgate food. Let's go. Danny Bo, and he is the mastermind behind the fried fish burrito at Mission Cantina. Yeah, I grew up with a lot of Tex-Mex actually. So I've had like Tex-Mex and then California Mexican food in San Francisco, which is where the burrito is based off of. What we do is we start out with catfish. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of, we, they use like a Japanese chili pepper, um, but you can use just like cayenne pepper or Old Bay at home. Old Bay is super delicious. We'll just dredge it in a little bit of flour so it sticks. This, when we fry it up, what we actually fry it in is we fry it in like a batter made of masa. So masa, for those of you who don't know, it's like what tortillas are made of. For those of you at home, if you don't have a deep fryer, which you probably don't, you can just fry it in some oil around 350 degrees. So while that's happening, we'll go ahead and make some salsa. We're gonna make a really simple pico de gallo. We start with really good tomatoes. About a tomato to a half an onion, to one whole chili pepper. So we do a jalapeno, a serrano, and a little bit of a habanero, and then um, limes. Yeah. So what we'll do is, again, it doesn't have to be super pretty. Cut the onion up really, not too small. You want it to have some bite to it. We'll just cut the tomato here. We'll add a little bit of salt to this. Right on. The salt draws out a lot of the juice in the tomato. And then with the jalapeno and the serrano and everything else, we'll just cut it up really fast. The good thing about habanero peppers is that it adds a very fruity flavor mm -hmm. profile. So we're really looking forward for that, more than just bracing heat. We're adding lime juice to this. I would add the juice of about two limes, and then we'll just add a little bit of chopped cilantro to this. Mm. I would let this marinate for about 15 minutes so the salt can pull out the moisture and all the vegetables. So our sauce is all made and we can start to assemble the burrito. He's done? So these, are guys, these guys are done. Pretty much a pretty perfect batter. You want to let this drain a little bit, so we'll take them out. If you can see, like it's got a really nice crust really nice and light. Those look awesome. And again, it, it fries up. When it fries up, it gets a little bit bigger. So you, know, yeah. you, know, the, 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 you don't want to, that's enough for a burrito. So then what we'll do is when it comes out, we'll season it with a little bit of salt. So that's that, and that's ready to Let's go. Let's go, let's do it, I'm so hungry. Let's make our burrito. You can use oil if you want. Pork fat is super, super flavorful. The cheese can kind of be spread out. You want okay. it to wrap around everything, but all the other filling should stay right in the middle. So heat the tortilla. Put the cheese on so it starts to melt. Right. We put a little bit of cilantro down. That's a lot of it. And then I also like to add a little bit of white onion, just raw mm. onion for bite. And then we'll take some of that pico. Exactly. So a little bit of this pico de gallo. We're really huge fans of uh, avocado. God, that looks so good. And then we have our fish, which is like, you can hear it. It's like still very crunchy. I like to add a little bit of pinto beans, not too much. And then um, we'll put a little bit of crema. When you roll this up, you're gonna bite and you're gonna get hopefully a bite of everything, right? So what we'll do is we'll kind of, I like to fold it in half first to bring all the ingredients in the middle. And then I fold the two sides in, just like you're folding up an egg roll or something. And then you come over and you, you know, you want to kind of tuck it in. Okay, um, that's like you're very rolling important. up a sleeping bag. Don't roll it too loose because it's gonna, you want this to be very tight. So that's your burrito. And what we do is we go back onto the griddle just for a second. Not only is it gonna like help seal this whole thing up, but it's gonna add that like that really nice crispy texture. So that is the burrito. It's done. We got like nice like you know, kind of like a crispy surface here. And honestly, what's better than a portable tailgate food? Like, exactly. Then you and can the go to thing, other tailgaters and be like, "Oh, you're eating messy ribs." Exactly. So if you're doing this for a bunch of people, I would get some foil. There's always foil at barbecues typically. The so, most important thing you can bring to your tailgate party is tin foil. Tin foil. It right. changes your life. So, I love tin foil. I will just take this and we'll just, again, you want to roll it up pretty tight mm -hmm. um, and then just close the edges off. And then from there, you're good to go. So do you know the best part about a burrito? What's that? You can use it as a football. Go long, Danny. <laughs> right. Back to you, Nick. Yay!